time, I'm going to ruin your childhood if you were a fan of Disney Channel original movies and musicals. Specifically Camp Rock. Some of you may know me, some of you may not. My name is Erin Doyle. I was Lola Scott in Camp Rock, and I'm about to ruin the movie for you. Probably forever. As I alluded to in my, my first couple videos, um, I didn't just sing that song in Camp Rock. There's other songs I sang too, but we'll get to that part later. First off, we're going to start a, talking and having a conversation about um, the problematic way in which my character was framed in the film. Just like from its inception, from like writing it and, and choosing to give my character specifically that song. Let's take ourselves a quick gander at the lyrics for my song. <clears throat> Who's got what it takes to be my guy? Seems like we're really too focused on a man right now. Uh, what it takes to make me shine. What it takes to get me fired up. What a oh, what 15 year old girl is getting fired up and what exactly is getting her fired up? I have questions because that seems like we're, or we're putting a sexual connotation on this. Um, who's got what it takes to be my beau, what it takes to make me glow? Again, what is making you glow? Because it seems like you're making a very casual insinuation to an orgasm. Um, but like, <clears throat> that's just, you know, <clears throat> me. And it could be because you have so conveniently placed me um, as a woman dancing on a table, which colloquially, um, we consider women who dance on tables in Western society to be loose. Um, they made a whole movie about it, Coyote Ugly. Um, just, just saying. But in case you don't think that's problematic enough, in case you think I'm overreacting, here's why I'm not. Because basically what they did is they created my character to be the modern day children's version of the Jezebel archetype from Jim Crow era. What do you mean? I'll explain. Initially, the Jezebel was a tragic mulatto. However, from as early as the 1630s to present, black women of all shades have been portrayed as overly sexualized. Women who fulfilled the Jezebel stereotype were more likely to be sold into white slavery or prostitution. Is she on a table? Is she on a table? How about her? Is she on a table? I didn't see anyone else on a table, regardless of their ethnicity. But like, do you think that was really a good choice? And for all of you who think I'm overreacting, don't worry, there's more reasons why I think this movie is incredibly fucked up. Come back for part two to find out. I've got receipts.